Hi, I'm David Andrew, and I write about wildlife and wild places for Lonely Planet. A trip to Kakadu reveals a microcosm of the best of Northern Australia, a fascinating landscape heaving with wildlife and an ancient culture that just might make you stop and reconsider your own busy life. Kakadu covers a vast area of tropical northern Australia. It's 22,000 square kilometres, which is huge. It would take you all day to drive from the top to the bottom or even from one side to the other. The Kakadu region has probably been inhabited for 20,000 years at least. There are two fantastic rock art sites that you must go to. One is Ubir in the north of the park. The other is Nulangi, which is a huge sandstone outlier of the Arnhem Land stone country. The rock itself is carpeted with Aboriginal paintings. It's fascinating. Here you can see the famous X-ray art, which shows animals like kangaroos and echidnas and turtles with the lines depicting their insides. And these were important food and totemic animals to the Aboriginal people. For a bit more adventure, a great cruise option is to take the Gulliambi Aboriginal cruise on the East Alligator River, where you will get some insight into how Aboriginal people view the landscape and the wildlife, and the ranger guides will explain as much as they can to you. There's so much to see, sometimes you don't even know where to look. It's fantastic. A great way to cool off is to visit one of the giant waterfalls that cascade over the Arnhem Escarpments. Now, the most famous of these are Jim Jim Falls, and Twin Falls, and there's a fantastic cool plunge pool. Now if you get there early enough, you might be lucky enough to see freshwater crocodiles. One of the best times to go is dry season, because the water holes are shrinking and they are packed with wildlife. You will just be face to face with huge crocodiles, lizards, tortoises, birds, it's just a magical landscape of wildlife. Other amazing sights are tropical storms rolling in from the horizon. They're glittering with lightning and they roll right over the top of you and they might be literally a hundred meters above your head and then suddenly all hell breaks loose. Lightning striking the ground all around. It hits dead trees which literally explode in front of your eyes. It's just electric. You've got to see one of these storms. Another great experience is watching thousands of magpie geese erupting from a billabong. It's an incredible sight. The sky is full of birds and the thunder of wings. It's extraordinary. It's a great way to learn about the natural environment, to see how the seasons change, how the wildlife changes. Going to Kakadu is a fascinating educational experience.